welcome to the present. So Arteta is suspended uh, from the technical area, from the bench, when we visit uh, Villa Park on Saturday in the match against Villa. The one I find very interesting, it looks like Arteta is being targeted. I mean, Arsenal and Arteta have been targeted. And I'll give you my reasons. I'm not here just to waffle emotionality and sentimentality because I'm an Arsenal fan. I have a brain. I have to put it to use. Now, let me give you why I think so. So, Eusebi comes out after a loss where he felt that the referee performance was shady, was not good enough. And he uttered certain words like, I hate 80% of English referees. Strong, those are strong words. You know, on certain terms, he said he hated 80%. Of English referees. I guess what the FA or the PGMO does to him. A warning. He just he gets hit with a warning. Okay. We played Newcastle a, a while, I think if you want in November, right? A while ago. After a diabolical poor referee performance that we lost that game to a dodgy call, Arteta comes out and said the referee performance was embarrassing, that is disgraceful. And he gets charged for bringing the game to disrepute and disrespecting the officials. Which one is which one is more severe? I hate 80% of the referees or the referee performance was embarrassing and disgraceful. Find out very interesting, right? Now, second, let's go to the second example. Giuseppe won at Nottingham Forest a few weeks ago and he had a wild celebration. Albeit, after the final whistle has been blown, right? No charge, nothing. Does that be right? Arteta goes into a frenzy and celebrates in arguably the smallest stadium in English membership, the smallest technical area in the English membership. He seems scores literally the last seconds of the game, and is and and is being yellow carded for celebration, for excessive celebration. But Eusebi, that ran to the pitch, like I said, albeit the whistle has been blown, was not charged. Even though we know referees can decide to ask, still issue yellow card for you to have a wild celebration. Nothing. The referees found that very, very not, 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 they found it not provoking, right? It wasn't thought provoking. It didn't annoy the referees. At that, does something similar. Your team just called. Literally in the last seconds of the game, the euphoria, the excitement. You, can, you can't cause such excitement. And that gets yellow carded. Now he's being suspended against Aston Villa. It, see, it's looking like Arsenal and Ateta has been targeted. And the media are very silent on it. The media are finding a way to make sure Arsenal and Ateta are being blackboard, which I, I find very, very disgusting. And some Arsenal fans actually uh, entertain such narratives because, like I said, it's commercially viable. It brings it the money, the traction. So they don't care. They don't care. <sighs> I, I just wish people can be very fair and objective. Especially when they can see what's going on. The English Premier is the strongest and the most uh, enterprising league at the moment. But things can go south very, as quick as possible. Remember the Italian league used to be the biggest. The Spanish league used to be the biggest. These kinds of behavior, if this persists, things could go south. You cannot be blackballing people because they are calling out the inadequacies of the officiating. We have the media actually protecting the, 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 the fact that most of these referees are peace poor. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not endorsing uh, bringing the referees or the game to disrepute, but at the same time, we cannot condone poor officiating. The referees have to be held accountable. But no, Simon Jordan and the rest of his clique in the media, no, you cannot hold them accountable. Hold the managers accountable. But the referees who are provoking them with their bad decisions and the uh, and the VAR officials don't hold them accountable, but hold the managers accountable for reacting to the poor officiating. Make that make sense.
that doesn't make no sense. The managers are not just going out of their way to speak ill of the referees or the or the VAR officials. No, the VAR officials are the ones provoking. I'm not saying there's a utopia where all the calls will be right, but when you have to price it in that every weekend there will be a VAR fast, there will be poor shit from the referees. That is not that is not acceptable and should not be allowed to fester. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'm tripping. I would like to know because it looks like Arteta has now been targeted unfairly. On Saturday at the Villa Park, I expect Villa players to get away with setting overly physical tackles. Remember, if you watch the game against Luton, you saw Luton were, were allowed to be overly physical against Arsenal players. There is this unwritten rule that the smaller teams, quote unquote, the smaller teams at their home ground can get away with all kind of extra overly physical tackling. It's what it is. And nobody speaks about it. Even sometimes, the commentators actually uh, support it. Because I was listening to the commentaries uh, of the match you play against Lutin. And the commentator was like, yeah, you don't have a, they don't have the same level of technical ability, so they have to be, they have to be extra physical. It was actually endorsing it. You expect the commentators to be fair and unbiased, right? But no, when it comes to us now, we got the short end of the stick all the time. I don't know why what Arsenal has done to the majority of the pundits and the commentators in England, but for some reason, we get uh, treated unfairly all the time and people don't say anything about it. Like the video, very important. Uh, subscribe it, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bells, extra important. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.